I was not a coordinated child. In PE, when they wanted us to jump over hurdles, I refused. Finally, the frustrated teacher took out an entire lane of hurdles, strung, strung masking tape from one row to the next for me to jump over or run through. Every year when I was a kid, for my birthday, my mom would buy me a new Schwinn bike, but I was 11 before I figured out how to ride one. I was a reader and a social butterfly, but not a jock. As an adult, I hesitantly began biking around in my neighborhood, to the library or coffee dates. And when a friend became involved in organizing Bike to Work Week, I agreed to help her organize and be at events. When I saw those hardy souls who commuted by bike, I vowed that the following year I would do it too. So I had 12 months to find an eight mile route that avoided terrifying traffic and death defying hills. I learned how to put my bike on the bus in case I needed to, and I figured out what to wear. I was ready. So the next year, on the last day of Bike to Work Week, I finally did it. And it was one of my proudest moments when I arrived at work on my bike. I was so excited after that day. I told everyone, if I can do it, anyone can. And as I became more enthusiastic about biking, I wanted to join a biking group. I found a lot for women who were more athletic, more competitive, but nothing for the casual cyclist. And then as I talked to women about my biking, they too asked how they could become more involved. They were concerned about traffic, what to wear, helmet hair, and, and they all said they would love to find women to ride with. I also learned that women are considered an indicator species for a bike-friendly city. While 60% of bikes are owned by women, only 24% of bike trips are taken by women, and the vast majority of bike commuters are men. Women are more hesitant about traffic and more apt to get involved with cycling through the community of other women. So realizing that I wanted a biking group and that women appeared to want that as well. I sat down one day five years ago and created bells and baskets. I made a Facebook account and an email address, and through the magic of social media, women came from all over the city to join us on our first ride. Since that first time, we've taken over 50 rides together. Our formula is really simple around 15 to 25 women on all kinds of bikes meet at a coffee shop or a bakery. We'll ride on bike trails, neighborhood streets, urban bike lanes for around 60 to 90 minutes at a casual pace, talking the whole time. <laughs> we then return to the coffee shop and eat and visit some more. And on every ride, I hear stories, like the woman who came for the first time to our annual Mother's Day ride. Her mom had died earlier that year, and she wanted company and exercise. I hear stories of recent surgeries, marriages, divorces, children, triumphs, and losses. I meet women who are athletic and are looking for friends to ride with. And I meet brave women who are there to take their first step on a journey toward fitness. I see women get so brave and so strong by moving through the town on their own speed, with their own bodies. They often say that while they are comfortable riding on a bike trail, they can't imagine riding through downtown. But with the group, they find the courage to do so. These women make new friends, find new areas to ride, and become empowered as cyclists. And in addition to that, they seem to become transformed into stronger women as well. Through no expense, except my time and energy, I've created a community that didn't exist before. What kind of community would you like to see happen? Quilting, gaming? politics, fitness, 
it's really easy to do. Just like the first time that I biked to work, if I can do it, anyone can. <laughs>